What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I feel like I haven't made a video in forever. We had the flashlight shootout, which was an insane turnout. It was so much fun. It was a long weekend. If you guys have never ran an event, it takes a lot out of you. You're standing out there for like 12, 14 hours and no time to eat, get water, but it's totally worth it. There's some super crazy cars out there. Some cars that like I've always wanted to see race and they were racing at our event, which was really cool. So I'm gonna drop the highlight video here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little cinematic highlight video of the flashlight shootout. We just dropped some huge news as you saw at the end of that video. We do have our Amarillo Texas one coming up March 28th, which is like right around the corner. And then we decide to go ahead and do one in Oklahoma, down in Noble, Oklahoma at Thunder Valley Raceway Park, August 29th. So if you guys are in that area or you wanna to travel to Noble, Oklahoma, it's a really nice track. It's a great facility. Super awesome cars should be out there August 29th, and uh, it's going to be a good time. So I know you guys are looking for updates on the Mustang, so I'm going to drop this little clip here that I filmed with my cell phone. All right, guys, forgot to bring the camera over, but just as that works, so the garage is closed. Um, but I am swapping fuel tanks. So, yeah, this was a ton of fun. But the tank that I got... So this is my old tank, 2018. There's the hole. I know it was really hard to see in the last video, but yeah. Do not get seam sealer hot or on fire. It will burn a hole through your fuel tank. So this fuel tank is no longer salvageable. We did get a fuel tank from our good buddy, John Lawson. Problem is, this is an S550 fuel tank, but not from an 18. So 
This hat is a little bit different. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. There's a fuel line for the saddle tank. It looks like it goes here, whereas on the 18, it connects here. So not too sure about that part yet. So I had forgot my camera and honestly, I was just trying to get the car ready. I really wanted to work on the car without any distractions. And so I kind of just went over there and worked on it. So what had happened was, if you guys didn't see the last video, there was a hole in the fuel tank. Don't even want to talk about it right now, but there's a hole in the fuel tank. And so essentially I couldn't keep my car inside Joe's garage because obviously there's like probably five or seven gallons of Ignite E90 in there. And with a hole in the tank, it would have literally stunk up his entire garage and house. So over the weekend, the car actually sat outside. The windows were down because the car has no power. All the wiring is taken out because of the cage install. So the windows were down. We couldn't just hook up the battery and put the windows up because we'd have to put all the wiring back in. So we left the windows down. Joe taped up the windows and my car sat outside all weekend while we were gone in Dallas. Well, Monday comes around and I start working on the car outside. So I spent a few hours outside during the day and then went over there at night and worked on it. And then finally yesterday, Tuesday, I got the tank back in with the triple fuel pumps, um, got all the lines hooked up, everything's good to go on that. I'm hoping it works. I put everything back how it was supposed to, but actually the tank that I got was for a 17 and obviously my car's an 18. So there's some small differences, but I think I was able to make it work. I mean, we won't know until we start the car. Um, last night, like I said, didn't take my camera over to Joe's either, but I did get the lower radiator hose ran. I got a new fan installed, which I really want to show you guys. It's from BL Fabrications. I've got a lot of parts from them, but anyways, they have a slim fan. So it's a single fan, derail fan with a shroud on one side. It saves a ton of room and it's really easy to install. So I got that installed last night. I started running new vacuum lines because those got messed up during the cage install as well. Um, just a lot of small things had to be done last night. Um, Joe got the exhaust tacked up. So hopefully tonight, which will be on the next video, you guys will actually see the exhaust welded up, the hot side welded up. All that stuff's gotta be heat wrapped, which is why I'm going to the store to get some more heat wrap. I have some, but I don't think I have enough to do the exhaust because the exhaust is massive. Wait till you guys see this exhaust. Um, I gotta go to Harbor Freight and get another blade for Joe's bandsaw uh, because it's kind of dull from cutting all the stainless steel. But we are very, very close to starting the car. I'm hoping in the next video we actually start the car um, because I haven't even started the new motor. I haven't even broke it in. There's so much little stuff that has to be done, but that's just part of it. So hopefully in the next video, you guys will see the exhaust welded up, the hot side welded up, all the vacuum lines and everything back together and the car actually started up because like I said, we still got to start the engine up. We still got to check for any leaks. You know, when you put all these things back together, pretty much everything has been taken out of the car the trans, the converter, the drive shaft, now the fuel system, the engine, the turbo. When you take out that much stuff and put that much stuff back together, there's bound to be leaks or something wrong somewhere. So that's kind of what I'm worried about. And I think that's gonna be probably the biggest setback because I think, like I said, in the next video, you guys will probably see us start the car, but it's really working through all the small issues that come about when you know, you're on a fresh build. So. We've got a lot of stuff to do. So guys, unfortunately no crazy updates, but I am working on the car. I just keep forgetting to take my camera over there. Plus I'm trying to get a lot done right now, but like I said, hopefully in the next video, I'll give you guys an update on the car. Hopefully we'll actually get it started, but there's a lot of little stuff we still got to do. I showed you guys, I think in a video, I did end up getting the BMR K member in. Um, so if you guys want to use my discount code, vanv 39 on BMR, save yourself some money and free shipping, but I did get the K membrane, coilovers are here, and I got some limiters from Motion Raceworks, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to install all that stuff, so we'll see. Really my biggest deal, getting the car started, getting the car running, putting some braking miles on the engine, and uh, I wanna make some passes at 2K. So guys, I'm still here, I'm still trying. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.